Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about a proud moment for Turkey. The developmental Khan 5th generation stealth fighter finally made its maiden flight. The fighter, which was previously known as the TFX program or Turkish National Combat Aircraft, but later was officially named as Khan Stealth Aircraft. Khan, which is a reference to historic titles from Turkic and Mongolian rulers. The development of the aircraft started in 2010 when they were deciding for the design of the aircraft. While in 2011, Turkey's Under Secretariat for Defense Industries granted $1.8 billion to the state owned Turkish Aerospace Corporation or TAI to acquire necessary technologies and infrastructure for the design, testing, and certification of the aircraft. This was the initial funding of the program, but the cost is expected to grow in the future as the development of the aircraft continues. The Khan Stealth Fighter is supposed to replace the Turkish F-16 in the future. Currently, Turkey was kicked out of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program due to their decision to purchase the S-400 air defense system from Russia. Now, the Khan Stealth Fighter program will be a huge importance for Turkey's fleet of fighters in the future. The Turkish government laid out basic requirements for the aircraft such as improved aerodynamics and propulsion. Super crews, sufficient and optimized combat radius, advanced and internal multispectral sensors, low observability, sensor fusion and autonomy, improved data link capabilities for network enabled warfare, and high precision standoff weapons. The Khan is a fifth generation fighter who's tasked to protect Turkey's airspace in the future. The Khan stealth fighter will be a multi role aircraft capable of conducting air to air, air to ground, and electronic warfare missions. The aircraft will be a 21 meter long twin engine fighter with maximum speed of Mach 2 or 2,450 kilometers per hour. The aircraft has a maximum altitude of 55,000 feet and it'll have a maximum takeoff weight of 30,000 kilograms. The aircraft will have two powerful EJ200 Euro engine the same engine used by the Eurofighter, and each one is capable of producing 27,000 pounds of thrust. The aircraft will have capabilities such as situational awareness, optimized pilot workload, combat damage detection, new generation mission systems, low observability, precision strike, and internal weapon bay. The aircraft will be equipped with active electronically scanned array or ACER radar. It will also use gallium nitride or GAN technology. The fighter's advanced avionic system includes a radar system, an electronic warfare suite, infrared track and search or IRST, and a helmet-mounted display system for the pilot. The aircraft will also have a 25mm cannon mounted on the underside of the fuselage. The aircraft's estimate cost is around $100 million each. Well, they expect the aircraft to enter service and be combat-ready as early as 2028, or later around mid-2030s. While the Turkish government planned production rate would be for 24 aircraft per year. Recently, they signed a pact with Azerbaijan, and soon probably Pakistan is expected to join the program and help offset Turkey of the high development cost of the aircraft. Turkey, which is a growing defense export country, but they already have a proven defense industry. They were able to locally assemble their own F-16, the FNSS is also known as globally for their armored combat vehicles and weapon system, while the Bayraktar drones is currently the number one selling drone globally. The Bayraktar series is a technologically advanced and combat proven drones. While the developer of the Khan Stealth Fighter, which is Turkish aerospace industry, also produces the Thai Attack helicopter. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.